Good morning guys and welcome back to the coffee bar. We have already established, I have already established that the coffee from Kenya is number one. To me, it's number one. There is nothing like it. But today, as you can see here, we're going to see which is better. Now when I first drank the Kenyan coffee, I ran it through my Keurig, which we all know is <laughs> at best. We are going to French press the Kenyan coffee. And we're going to cat max and see which one is better. set up we got hot water we got the French press and we got the Chemex coffee we have the coffee already ground now I'm not gonna be making full pots of this I'm only gonna be making a little bit but this should be a good indicator of which one is the best okay so I've been told that when you're doing the French press, you first wet the grounds on the bottom and let it sit for about 30 seconds. Then you put your water in and press it. On the Chemex, almost the same thing. You wet the you wet the grounds, let it sit for a sec for a few seconds, and then finish your pour. When you do your pour, try to stay off the paper. Obviously, I'm not using a proper pot to pour this with. This is what I happen to grab. This is what I'm using. So we're gonna see if we can make it work as well. Could you hear that noise in the background? If you think you know what that noise was, leave me a comment down below. I'm going to bet you don't get what that noise was. But I had to put a stop to it because it was driving me crazy. Anyway, here we've got our French press. We've got our grounds in the bottom. We've got our Chemex. Our grounds are in the filter. Let's see what happens. Got them both started. I wish you all could smell that. That is, that is something else. All right, I'm gonna fill up the French press. Obviously I'm not gonna fill it up, it's just me drinking it. And we're gonna fill this one here up. multitask pretty easy push I'm not so certain that this one's gonna work but we're gonna try it anyways like I said the push on the French press was a little light hopefully it works out the Chemex is done now obviously I've got milk in my cups because as you know that's how I drink my coffee we also want to have the Kenyan coffee through the Keurig I had milk in it as well so we're gonna try to keep everything fair we're all about fair. Sometimes we're about fair. So anyways, we are going to pour the French press. And we are going to pour the Chemex. I wish you could smell this. I wish you could smell this. Let's get some in there. Both are extremely hot. So here we go. We are going to test the French press against the Chemex, against last week's Keurig, all using the Kenyan coffee, which has already been determined by me, for me, that that is the best coffee I have ever tasted. First, we're going to try the French press. It's a little weak, but I'm going to say that'd be user error. Let's try the Chemex. Mm. 
much better. Much better. So, I'm guessing when I said this was light on the push, I didn't have enough coffee in there. This coffee is just not as strong as it normally is, and that's because I've added too much water to it. The Chemex, Chemex over Keurig, I don't think it's fair. To be honest with you, I don't think it's fair. And the reason I don't think it's fair is because I messed up doing the... Alright, right now the Chemex is number one. The reason Chemex is number one is because it just beat out the French press. The reason it beat out the French press is user error. It hands down beats the Keurig. Sorry Keurig, we're coming in third even behind a weak French press. I do not make Chemex coffee all the time or French press all the time. The majority of my coffee comes right through that Keurig. Why? Because it's simple, it's easy, and it's fast. It's simple and it's easy, it's the same thing. Anyways, it is simple, it is fast, and all I want to do is drink my coffee and have it taste good. So the Kenyan coffee through the Keurig is pretty good. It's even better through the French press, but it is top coming through the Chemex. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. And remember, like I always say, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. See you on the next one. Later. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm working on a coffee video. It's a... Let me just give you a sneak peek here. So what did you all think of that? Did you like it? Leave me a comment down below. It's going to be about three, maybe three minutes long. Three minutes long. Oh boy. Anyway, it's going to be about three minutes long. It's simply the cinematic side of what I like to do. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. And remember, like I always say, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it.